Yep. There we go. Uh -oh. G'day, I'm Brian and this is Safari News South Africa and I wanted to have a quick, quick chat about a couple of photographic competitions that are still running in 2023 from Southern Africa. And the first one is South African Photographer of the Year 2023 and this is the second year of this competition running. So let's go. Categories, mammals, birds, animals in the environment. If you're not sure what that is, you have to encapsulate the environment where the animal is already. So it can't just be like a close up shot. Water, black and white, landscape, close up and Africa, which is a new category for this year. And there's also young photographer of the year. Entry cost for adults is 250 Rand or about $14 US and for that you get 10 credits which is equal to 10 entries and there's no limit to how many credits you want to buy and there's both professional and amateur categories for adults. Young photographer of the year entries are free but there is a maximum of 20 entries and you must be 17 years of age or under adults 18 years or over. Important entry requirement. All entries for each category must be taken in the borders, within the borders of South Africa, except for the new category, Africa. And in that one, you can enter in the categories, any image you have from any place in Africa, any country within the African continent. Closing date for entries is the 10th of December, 2023. So at the time of this video, there's about four weeks left. And entries must be from the 1st of January 2019 at the latest. Anything older than that, it's not an entry. It'll be discarded if they see it in the metadata. And the major prize, everyone wants to know what the prize is, fair enough. Okay, for the adult overall winner is a six night all inclusive stay, including two overnight hide sex sessions at Zamanga Private Reserve in South Africa. And for Young Photographer of the Year, the major prize is a Canon EOS R7 mirrorless camera and an RF 100 to 400 millimeter lens. There are also prizes for category winners for both amateur and professional entries. Okay, next up, we got Pangolin Photo Challenge 2023 run by Pangolin Photo Safaris based in Chobe, Botswana. I think this one's four or five years old. I've been entering in this one since the beginning. Categories, birds of the world. So the difference here is that images from anywhere on the planet can be entered into the pangolin photo challenge. Monochrome wildlife, AKA black and white. The red list, and that's a list of threatened species. And I'll try to remember to put the link in so you can go and check what this red list is and whether you have taken photos of any of the animals on the red list. Animal behavior, wildlife in motion, urban wildlife, which is a new one for this year. Water as an element, the small stuff, natural landscapes, and there's a best of 2023. So there's more categories this year than I think there was normally around four to five categories. Now there's 10. Then entry is open to amateur photographers 13 years or older. Cost of entry this year is free. Now you must watch a short animated video or two on Pangolin Conversation and then answer a short quiz at the end of that. And once you've done that, you are giving, given 10 entries to use as you please. So if you're just a landscape photographer, for instance, and you want to put 10 entries into the landscape category, you can do that or you can spread your entries out if you've got photos from different categories into those different categories. Important entry requirement, all images must be taken from the 1st of January 2022 at the latest, except for the best of 2023 category, which must be taken in 2023 from 1st of January. Prizes, again, Category winners, except for the best of 2023. All-inclusive stay at the Pangolin Chobe Hotel, and we've stayed there before, for one person. 
so that's important. So that includes food and beverages, that includes alcohol, twice daily game drives, and I think also you can go on the Pangolin, you know, choose to take at least some of those on the Pangolin photos boats, which are unbelievable on the Chobe River. Transfers, park fees, there is an optional day trip to Victoria Falls. Obviously, that would negate at least one day where you don't do the game drives in Chobe. And if you're taking a partner, a paying partner, for instance, because I'm going to assume most people that uh, have entered have their own gear, the use of cameras, lenses, and memory cards, which you get to take, not the cameras and lenses, but the memory cards are home for your memories. Now, the best of 2023 is a seven night Chobe in the Okavango Delta Safari for two people with all the same inclusions except for the Victoria Falls day trip. I don't think there's enough time. I think there's three nights in Chobe, four nights in Okavango, and that includes the internal flights down to Okavango. So anyway, those two are still going. That one finishes, entries finish for that one on the 31st of December, 2023. So you still got six or six weeks or so to, to get your entries in for that competition. So anyway, I'll leave links for both competitions in the video description. And please take care to read the full rules of both competitions carefully. So thanks for watching. Bye for now.